Hello. I'm here with uh, Sean Hiscock. We're at uh, Nova Scotia Community College, um, Akerley Campus, in the Oil Heat Systems Technician Training Facility. Mike? Yeah, the reason for this video is we're going to demonstrate how to install uh, an oil yeller Y tray. This is a leak detection tray specifically made for tanks where you want to set the tank inside the tray. In today's video, we're going to show how to install just a standard fiberglass tank inside the leak detection tray. And uh, it's a fairly simple process, but uh, uh, we'll walk through and show you how to do it. The Y trays are, are great for a new installation indoors. And the, somebody asked, why are we putting a fiberglass tank into a tray? You know, fiberglass aren't going to corrode. However, we know that um, there are certain things that can happen with oil uh, that uh, really require you to take the precautions of putting uh, your tank in the tray. You could have an overfill accidentally of your system, which the oil can migrate down onto the ground, or you can have a leak at your connections or at your filter seal and so forth, or when you're doing service of the filter, you want to have that in a tray to make sure nothing can really, uh, I guess, find its way to the floor, and which could possibly contaminate your home. So really, this is the safest way to install an oil storage system, and we're going to demonstrate today how, how to install it in a wide tray. All right, so essentially you just set your tray down beside the tank. You can go ahead and put your fittings, in this case you've got the filter on, you've got some pipe on and, and the gauge onto the tank. So you can go ahead and do that ahead of time, and then you set your tray there beside, and essentially you're just going to lift the tank, and set it into the tray. You want to center that once it's inside the tray. And essentially that's it. Now the best thing to do will be to go to your work area and then to clean the work area where your tank is going to rest. In this case it's going to be right up against our door here in the community oil heat lab. You're going to sweep that. So once you've got it swept and it's ready for its final positioning, you essentially just take the tray and you're going to slide that back into place. And then once it's the tray is here in its place, then you're going to do the final connection, and that way there you're ready to uh, finish piping it and so forth, and, and your tray's installed. 